as you can tell from the recent videos that I've created, we're talking about the Dell P3421W ultra wide monitor. I recently changed my monitor setup. I went from two monitors to one ultra wide. At the moment, I don't have the space on the desk to have a monitor next to it, although I do still have a spare 24 inch monitor, which I've had for years and years, quite an old one. Um, but I wanted to do a quick video because I see lots, and when I was searching, I saw lots of, of articles and videos and, and texts and all sorts of stuff on what's the best monitor for a developer, for a software engineer, for coding. And I wanted to give my take on it because a lot of these they talk about sp specific monitors, you know, the top seven best monitors, and it gives you a list. And a lot of these are affiliate links. And you notice I've not got any affiliate links in, in this video. Uh, it's not about being affiliates. Um, but you know, if if you go and look at sort of you know what's what's here now with the you know when I'm looking for coding ultra wide monitors or the best monitors, if I went down here and searched for you know uh, best coding monitors, I bet I find lots of lots of information about you know specifics. You know this 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 monitor that monitor, and I'm not going to say that this Dell monitor that I bought is you know the best monitor for coding it, it is for me I, I actually really like it so far i've had it for you know come up for a week and it, it has been a, a, an amazing kind of tool to use but um everybody has their own sort of specifics and and you know likes and dislikes now i i'd previously to this owned a 27 inch monitor along with the 24 and the 24 i've had in portrait and the 27 i've had in landscape and that's mainly so I could actually fit them on a the desk to be honest but also the having it in portrait allowed me to have long documents or pages when I'm searching and looking up bits of information but um, yeah the 27 inch was a fantastic monitor for the time I had it um, I, you know work wise I've used many 22 and 24 mainly 22 inch monitors and they're usually dual setup monitors two to two monitors and that's the kind of the standard setup I think for for many people you know development wise two three monitors and more um, as I said I went for this ultra wide because it's like having two monitors one next to each other um, but you know as I said it's very much a very a, a specific you, you own likes and dislikes so I'm not going to say you must buy this monitor but the things I would say is one is you want to have a good resolution at least 2k is good I've, I've had 2k monitors for a number of years now 4k supposed to be quite good I've never owned a 4k monitor but 2k definitely the secondly if you not so much with an ultra wide because it's much more difficult I think to get it but if you're buying a, a monitor um, and it's a, a regular 16 by 9 monitor make sure that it allows you, the stand wise at least allows you to put it into landscape and portrait because it's very useful to be able to flip a monitor up into portrait mode you know and use it as as a, a lung um, a, a longer view of, of, of a web page or article and to be honest you find that the, the better the monitors out there the better monitors out there even they, they tend to have stands that allow you to do that they, that you can raise the height lower the height because a lot of the cheap monitors the stand is static fixed you can't even raise the height of the monitor which means you then have to maybe put on something to to get it to the right height so make sure this it's got a really good stand on it make sure I think in, in reality it's at least a 2k monitor and that it's got a fairly decent refresh rate. You don't need to have one of these massive 144 megahertz, 200 megahertz. You can, but you don't need to if you're just doing coding. Um, make sure it's got a good brightness level as well. I think that's also a, a benefit because obviously you want to, to have a, a nice bright monitor. Um, so that's it really. That's that's my thoughts. It's you know it's got to have a good resolution. It's got to have some nice bright colours, a good stand to move it up and down so that you can place it right and potentially put it in portrait. Other than that, I don't. I'm not going to say it has to be a specific brand of monitor because it can be, you know, I've used many brands. It can be many different brands. Um, it can be ultra wide. It doesn't have to be ultra wide. I, I like using ultra wide at least at the moment because it, it means I can have two very large. Um, applications on my screen I can have my editor and my say web page on my screen at once and not have to have that second monitor set up so there you go that's just my thoughts you know I just thought I'd share them with you uh, from a point of view uh, point of view um, 
with well, over 20 years, I'm not going to say how many, but well over 20 years worth of experience. When I started programming, we were still using CRT monitors, put it that way, and I remember carrying around a 22 inch CRT, which was a, a backbreaker. But you know, it, times have changed for the better. So, yeah, if you're looking for a monitor, do lots of good reviews, check out. But as I say, look for a good resolution, look for a good brightness, and a good stand that can be height adjustable. I don't think you can go far too wrong on that. So there you go, just my thoughts on programming ones and the best ones out there for you to use.